back to our channel today. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day as always. Before I hop into today's video, first off, I wanna thank you guys for coming on yesterday's video. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely go back, check it out. Brittany and I actually went shopping for a new plant, an indoor plant to go inside of our house because our palm tree one has kind of seen better days. And so we actually put that out on the balcony. We're hoping that by putting it out there and giving it a little bit more sunshine that it'll eventually get saved and so we can use it again. But in the meantime, we need something else to go inside of our house, which is why we got the plant that we did. And the funny thing is, while looking back on that footage, we actually saw that very first plant, the one with like the two palms. Oh my gosh, we totally forgot about that one. Anyway, so I don't know if we're gonna go back there and get that one or not. We'll probably just keep the one that we have. I mean, it was only $10. Well, what's funny though is that a lot of you guys actually commented the same thing. So thank you guys very much for your input, your help. You guys are always helping us. We love that. Today, for the most part, has been pretty chill. Brittany and I have been trying to catch up on work stuff and it kind of has just been a little bit more of a difficult day, I guess you could say. At least for me, being with Brett and Maddie was seriously so much fun. But I think the hardest thing for me was how attached I got to Little Bricks and it made me so badly to be able to be a father. And I know right now we're dealing with infertility and so that is something that is just really hit hard today, I guess you could say. And it made me think about my dad and how he's passed and I wish I could talk to him. Anyways, it's just like a whole range of emotions that I'm experiencing right now. I didn't think in a million years I'd be experiencing these feelings and emotions, but I am, and that's just the way life is sometimes. I actually heard a quote the other day that made me feel a little bit better about everything that we're kind of experiencing and going through right now, and I feel like I'm going to botch it, but basically it said if you were to pick anyone off of the street and ask them what their problems are, chances are it may not seem like a big deal to you or they may be worse than yours. Basically, in short, everyone has stuff that they're going through right now. But I know in the end, things will work out the way that they're supposed to. They always do. So I have that to at least look forward to. Plus, it also does help to be out here, be outside, be in Florida next to these really cool boats. Actually, I should say yachts. Everyone corrects me on that. They are yachts. And as always, these yachts always remind me of my cute dad. And even though I can't talk to him, you know, face to face, I do feel his presence here and feel like that I can talk to him here, which is why I like to come out here on my walks with Finn. you guys something here real quick that I think is pretty darn awesome. If you guys missed our video out in Puerto Rico where we rented those small little e-bikes and rode along Isabella along the coastline, which I think may be one of my favorite vlogs to this day. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go back, check it out. It was awesome and so breathtakingly beautiful. It's insane. Anyways, we were riding those e-bikes and I was joking with Britt then. Here we are riding e-bikes and we have an e-bike at the house that we have not yet even ridden yet. I have put it together, but I have not had a chance to ride it only because as you guys know, we've had visitors. But now that we're back, I want to show it off to you guys. Look at the size of this thing. This is such a just beastly bike. As you guys probably saw, it's fast. It goes 21.7 miles per hour. That is super fast for how big of a bike it is. Look at this, let me even look at the tires, you guys. So these are 26 inches and then four inches of width. I mean, they're fat tires. Plus on top of that, I can almost go to Miami in this thing. This thing has 31 miles of range. That is so far. Britt and I actually read on the news that the Seven Mile Bridge out in the Keys it just recently opened back up. There's like a pedestrian bridge that goes alongside like the actual bridge, like the one used for cars. And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, this thing would be so much fun to take out on that Seven Mile Bridge, cruising literally over the Atlantic Ocean. So if you guys have been with us for a little bit, especially when we were back in Utah, you guys know that I absolutely love mountain biking. It's like one of my favorite things ever to do, which is ironic because we live here and there's no mountains here. But we'd always take up e-bikes because it makes it way easier, it's way more fun. I know a lot about e-bikes, you guys, and especially about bikes in general. And this one has a Shimano gear system. Now, regular bikes have like five to seven speeds. This one has nine. This one has front and back disc brakes, which makes it way more safe to ride and stop, which is obviously a very big deal, especially if you're going like 22 miles an hour on this thing. The other thing I love about this, you guys, is that it has some serious travel. I mean, look at that suspension fork. That thing is huge. I'm sorry if I'm geeking out too much, but I am so stoked and happy about this bike. But it actually has a front headlight. How epic is this? And this thing is bright. Let me just show you real quick. I simply just press this button right here and it turns it right on as you guys can see there. But it also has a horn. Check out this horn. 
That's pretty loud. Now, for those of you who are interested, this does have a 48 volt removable lithium battery and a 750 watt bang geared hub motor, which means it has a ton of torque and a lot of go right off the bat. Plus it comes with a key and a lock, so you don't have to worry about anyone stealing your battery. One of my favorite features though is this LCD display for sure. I mean, this thing is just so easy to use. You can switch it to different modes. It's mega bright, which is nice so you can see it not only at night, but also in the daytime when it's really hard to see. Plus by pressing on the power button, you can change the modes here. You can see like your time elapsed. You can see the odometer, your trip. Honestly, it works just like a car and this thing is so much fun. My only regret was not getting it out sooner. Brit's here with me. Guys, that bike is so much fun. Babe, that bike is awesome. We should have ridden it a long time ago. Oh, yes. Nice. We should take it, I was telling them, we should take this bike to the seven mile bridge like we were talking about. That would seriously be so much fun. It'd Guys, be so much fun. Guys, came back with the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> He's like, you should have seen me. I was going over curves, I was going over pavement, <laughs> sand, all this stuff. So I'm glad he had fun out on that giant bike. It's been in our house and yes, we have not, he has not ridden it yeah, I'm glad that you I finally know. We've had it. You like it? Well, I was telling them, it made me think about it when we were riding those bikes out in Isabella. Yeah, yeah, yeah the I know. Jared, yeah. you didn't even have to pedal at all. Yeah, that's nothing. Kind of awesome. I know. I'll have to try that's it the out. best. That's how I want to ride bikes from now on. While he was out, you guys, I've been just kind of having a day at home. It yeah, so good being gone for so long. Mm -hmm. you ever just want to like, be home? Yeah, like home body. <laughs> Many of you may not know that, but I. Truly am. Like, I love being home, being in our space, and it's been so long since it's just I know. been me to have a little peace and quiet. So, I've been kind of just relaxing today, which has been awesome. But I just opened up some mail. Oh, yeah, we got some fan mail. We got literally from our YouTube fan. One of the nicest things. I know, seriously. We got the nicest letter. Yes, this one's amazing. This one's from Catherine McGreevy. Catherine McGreevy, you are the sweetest ever. It's, I'm not going to read this out loud. It is seriously so sweet, though. The sweetest, most thoughtful. thoughtful yeah. Yeah. So thank, thank you very much, you Catherine. So much for that. And then I got a little birthday gift from Sarah Manny as well. <laughs> she sent me the sweetest thing. I guess this is a fertility bracelet. Yeah. It has these little beads on it. And then she also sent some essential oils she loves as well. So you guys are so guys. amazing. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. So much. But now we have not done our grocery shopping yet, and the rest of our food is out, so we need to do some grocery shopping. Yeah, we're gonna go hit the store. All right, team, something came up for Brit, so it looks like I'm flying solo on this one, but I got the cart in tow, baby. Heck yeah. We actually talked about this cart many times on our vlog before, and this thing is gonna be the absolute dream machine when I get up there. Get all this stuff. Cute, Brit. She was so nice. She's like, sorry, I can't come with you. But what she did do is that she gave me a full on list of things to get. And she made it really simple for me by listing the things out in the order that the store is laid out. That was a pretty darn easy shopping list. Just gotta pick up one more thing and then I'm done. But I am very much looking forward to these meals that Brittany's gonna be cooking this week because they're going to be delicious. I mean, we ate semi-healthy out in Puerto Rico. If you guys missed any of those videos, you're gonna have to go back and check them out. A lot of you guys mentioned how much you loved our Puerto Rico videos. It was honestly probably one of our most favorite trips we've ever been on. And the best part of all is that it didn't cost very much money. I mean, our flight out there was pretty darn cheap. It was on Spirit Airlines from Fort Lauderdale to Puerto Rico, which is pretty darn close in general. And then when we got there, Dave and Paige were so kind to let us stay at their place and use their car so we didn't have to worry about getting a hotel or a rental car okay just got the last thing on the list it was not from Brit it was for me I need deodorant <laughs> and we're back in the kitchen called this deja vu we were just here and went to the store, got all the ingredients yeah. for a few meals. Seriously, that was the best. Thank you so and you so ready much. to cook, bro? Oh my gosh, little thin. He brought in those rotisserie chickens, and Finn has not left that chair. He's okay. I, I did give him a little bite of it. Yeah. How can you not? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight, you guys, we're just making a quick little salad, and we have made this before, and it is so delicious. I don't think I've ever made it before on the vlog. Basically, it's a watermelon kind of Greek 
salad with a basil vinaigrette. So I put all my salad dressing ingredients here. So I need some basil, some chives, some lemon juice, some honey, some olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. And then that is gonna go on top of some watermelon, some cherry tomatoes, and some feta and cucumber as well. So it's just gonna be really light and mm -hmm. refreshing. And I thought we'd eat a little rotisserie chicken along Yeah, there. I like the idea of that. We have watermelon salads a few times at restaurants and we love it. And I was like, hey, I think I can just make that at home. Heck yeah. So I found a recipe that I've kind of altered a little bit. So I will put it down below. But I'm using four cups of watermelon. I'm just gonna eyeball it so I'm gonna use this whole thing. <laughs> that looks around four cups. Yeah, that sounds more. good to me. Little hack there. I just had Jared pick up some pre-sliced yeah. watermelon because I knew we were gonna be using it. <laughs> and then I'm just adding one cucumber. You could do more if you want. But I'm just gonna do one because I need the other cucumbers we got for some mm -hmm. different recipes. I'm just gonna do like a handful of cherry tomatoes. I gotta rinse these off really quick and then chop them. And then I'm gonna do it's probably about a cup of cherry tomatoes or so. If you don't like tomatoes, leave them out. I think it tastes delicious, especially mm -hmm. with the dressing that we're making. Ooh, I know yeah. it, it kind of sounds like a weird combo, but you guys, it is so good. Oh, We've got delicious. our tomatoes there. And then sprinkle on as much feta cheese as you'd like. This is just all the rest that we have, so I'm putting it all in. But about a half a cup to a cup of feta cheese. And then for the dressing, super easy. You need the juice from one lemon. You guys, <laughs> the last time my sister Michelle was here, she stayed and she bought us one of these lemon juicers. I don't know how I lived without it before. <laughs> like you can get so much more juice out of a lemon this way. It's like the best kitchen tool ever. So we will link one of these in case. I know probably all of you have one, but <laughs> if you don't, I'm telling you it's a game changer. And I feel like we use lemon a lot. And to the lemon juice, you're gonna wanna do about three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. If you don't like balsamic, you probably will not like this salad. <laughs> we love balsamic. And then we are gonna do two teaspoons of honey. I'm just gonna eyeball it because I hate eating my spoons it's all sticky with the honey. So one, two. A cup of fresh basil, so lots of delicious basil. I love basil with watermelon. Also, I'm gonna chop up about two tablespoons of fresh chives as well. I always like to roll my basil up. It just makes it so much easier to chop, I feel like. Oh, and then really I easier. cut into little ribbons like this. This and stuff then, is seriously so good with oh, watermelon. It so I'm so excited and just chop it. I feel so fancy when I chop like this. It's so cool. I just feel, and like the sound you scream, yeah. it just sounds so like professional, but I'm really not doing anything special. <laughs> I started thinking it's going to be a little hard to toss the salad, so I grabbed a bigger bowl. So here's a little tip. You use a bigger bowl. I'm going to dump this. Oh, and mix it baby. Right there. And I'm going to add in about a fourth a cup of olive oil to our dressing and then all the fresh basil and the chives, about two teaspoons of chive. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish you could smell this. <laughs> I awesome. love using fresh herbs. Now you could blend this, but I don't mind the bigger chunks of basil because I think it tastes really good on the watermelon, but feel free, you could totally blend this. You can also heat up the balsamic and honey a little bit just to help melt the honey. That's what I did. So with that, we'll go ahead and pour this deliciousness just over all the watermelon and everything. Mm -hmm. And then just give it a toss, you guys. You can add a little bit of salt and pepper on here to taste to your liking. Oh my gosh, babe. This are you, smells how excited are you so for this? freaking good. It seriously does. Like mm -hmm. I feel like it's the perfect summer. I mean, it's still summer, right? It's not oh, cool yeah. yet. Summer here all along in Florida. Yeah, baby. We'll be having this in December. I will say I have snuck a little bite or two and it was really, really it's good so before good. she stirred it. So I haven't actually gotten the full effect yet, but I'm really excited to taste it. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of salt and some pepper to that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna dish some up for mm -hmm. Jared. Little Fin's so excited, he thinks he's got some of this. Yeah. Sorry, Finner. Sorry, buddy. I'll get you a little more chicken now. <laughs> All right, guys, and just like that, dinner is done. I'm gonna just heat up some of that roast history chicken. <laughs> I think we're gonna start putting more recipes up on our website, so stay tuned for that. 
Until then, I will put it down in the description below, but mm -hmm. that way you can find it later on. I know yeah. it's kind of a pain like going through videos trying to find recipes. We can put this one on there, so, that's easy. Yes, we will put that one up there for sure. Let us know if you make it, but I think it's we're gonna really go good. ahead and <laughs> close out today's video. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Yeah. We'll see you all next time. See you guys, love you, bye.